these two things can make self-sufficiency a challenge for Lopezians. Um, low population density, it's no surprise that uh, driving is the primary means of getting around on Lopez. Uh, as fuel prices continue to rise, uh, we wonder what measures Lopezians will choose to reduce the, the impact of uh, fuel costs. Some of the alternatives to replace car trips um, each have their own challenges. Um, cycling can be unsafe due to narrow shoulders and um, many roads, uh, on many roads, including main arteries. Um, lack of shoulders on roads reduces pedestrian safety and there's low con connectivity between um, key points of travel, such as um, the village and ferry and the school, um, making walking impractical. Um, hitchhiking, however, um, we found is culturally accepted on Lopez and seems to be a common solution to lack of, um, uh, of a vehicle being available. Um, while the, we've, we found that the transportation habits of the average Lopezian are a little difficult to quantify, um, but we've made a number of observations in the short time that we're on Lopez. Uh, uh, for example, uh, at the Lopez School, uh, there are four school buses. They cover an average of seven, uh, 170 miles per day, averaging about 23 students per bus run. Um, and the ridership on the school buses are about one half to two thirds of the seating capacity. So there seems to be an opportunity for more efficiency there. Um, another um, observation we made is how far waste travels um, to meet its final destination. Um, waste that's not recyclable um, travels from Lopez to Orcas first, and then it <coughs> makes a journey um, 350 miles to a landfill in Oregon. Um, Lopez Village Market ships uh, a large amount of its products from Seattle um, over trucks coming over the ferry. Um, the, the amount of produce that they receive is about uh, 170 cases per week in the low season and double that during the summer. Uh, the amount of fuel moving through the Lopez Village Market um, gasoline and diesel sales is about 500 gallons per day in the low season, 700 gallons per day in the summer. Um, so there's, these are some of the observations we've made in the transportation system. And I guess the key takeaway for me at this point, without going through the data in more detail, is that the um, transportation system has lots of small areas for improvement, but because of the dependence on the vehicles and the ferries, it seems to be long-term sustainable. Um, it's best to focus on localizing the economy to depend less on the transportation system, so not so much inherent uh, improvements in the transportation system, but just learning how to depend on the trans just transportation system less.